and this will be the materials that we're going to start with. So the first one is a sedimentation tank, and the one in the back is called an aeration tank. We'll be using both of these tanks today. So the first part that we're going to do today is creating our simulated wastewater, which is called primary influent. So this would be what would be leaving the pipes from our house going to the wastewater treatment plant. To create our simulated wastewater, students will weigh out and measure each substance to prepare and add to our sedimentation tank. These substances include dry used coffee grounds, cereal, dog food, plastic, baking soda, toilet paper, ammonia, and vegetable oil. Some of these items need more preparation than others after being weighed. Cereal and dog food are ground up using a mortar and pestle, and toilet paper is torn into small pieces representing how it would be found in wastewater. Now, we have all of our substances ready. So let's go ahead and we're gonna make our wastewater. Remember, what we always expect to see in wastewater. Pee, poop, toilet paper, and of course, water. One person from each group will bring their waste up. They're going to add it to the sedimentation tank. Rita will be helping us throughout the lab. So, as you add your ingredient, she will be stirring it the whole time, making sure that waste is added in. Starting with coffee, add it to the tank and we'll discuss what it represents in our real wastewater. What do the dried up coffee grounds represent? It does not represent poop. <coughs> and it does not represent dirt. Why do people drink coffee? Caffeine. caffeine. Yes, it represents caffeine and all the other chemicals that are in our food. Let's keep going. Cereal represents sugar. Sugars are in almost all the food that we eat or drink. Dog food is representative of proteins. When we cook proteins, as a result, we also get fats and greases. Plastics. This is anything that does not dissolve or break down easily, such as trash, dental floss, Q-tips, paper towels, feminine hygiene products, and wipes. Yes, even those labeled as flushable. Items like tissues that may break down more quickly than other items still belong in the trash can. Baking soda is representative of soaps and detergents. These items can change the pH of our wastewater to being more basic. Toilet paper is one of the three things we do expect to see in wastewater. And what do you think our ammonia is representing? Ammonia comes from urine and cleaning supplies. And lastly, vegetable oil is our fats, oils, and greases found in our wastewater. Wipes, even those labeled as flushable. Paper towels, dental floss, and feminine hygiene products do not disintegrate or break down in our sewer systems like toilet paper. These items can disrupt and damage the wastewater infrastructure, leading to sewer emergencies such as backups in the homes and overflows into the environment. Only flush human waste and toilet paper. Throw trash in the trash can and help protect your pipes.